because there's way more power for the shoulder. In the elbow, it starts to come back. There's more power in that. Because your hips are already down. So when you got the edge over here, this leg is very important that you don't stay over. You turn because the moment I'm going lower, I turn my toes, my hips is engaged on here. Does it make sense? Allows the arm get you over on top. You hang in the aspect over here. Here would be no gear. With the gear, you can hold yourself over there. But it's to bring the body. The body became a wall for his arm. But his arm is still be able to come back. How? He has to swing the arm now above over his shoulder to come back there. Because under, under my body is here. Okay? But he has to move this arm. That's the point when you have this arm in control. If you have the inside, you can shift the outside to work in a mechanism of it. Opposition. As this top arm pulling him to me, but it's not because I pretend that he comes to me. I'm using the pulling to engage my body on here. And to help to engage my body on here, what I do with this arm? The opposition of pulling, pushing. So I try to bring the arm back, I'm pushing the arm as I'm pulling here. Every time I try to bring the arm back, I push it, pulling it. Does it make sense? And then you gain that terrain even more and more. The more he keep it collapsed, what are going to be? On the back. The more he pulls, he try to come back. And then engage him, try to come back. Then I can get my hips under. And then start sweeping. I have the two options over there today. If there was the two options, you don't force. You take his direction. That you guide the person. So when you work, in the mechanism over there, not push away. In there, how to navigate. You try to pull the hand back on you, you start moving the arm in that direction. Start to open. Then we start gain that mechanism. Pulling and pushing. Pulling, pushing. Pulling, pushing. Pulling, pushing is what? It's a rotation. Rotation gives you a lot of power. So as you try to pull the arm back, pulling, push. Shift your hips to the side. If it drives this weight on top of you, you let it happen, but the arm stay here. What are you doing for that? Up, down, you turn your toes. You're gonna have a lot of power in your space. Right. If the pushing food works, you walk it away. And what you're going to do is let it go this arm, engage your arm on your feet, connecting the shoulder. If that shoulder is in control, on my chest. You try to get the chest on my chest again. I pull his shoulder, no way. Then he comes to me, he's in the back. Does it make sense? Clear for advance?